Hello and welcome everyone. What I wanted to do today was to explain how these word sorts work and how we're going to start incorporating them to help support students' uh, overall reading ability. Now, these word sorts, believe it or not, are actually spelling strategies. Now, what's really important is spelling skills and reading skills go hand in hand. Really good spellers are also really good readers. So what we want to be able to do is be able to help students understand these different sounds. And we're going to start with long and short vowel sounds and really help master those because that's what we're starting to see now when students are improving, they get hung up just in certain areas. And what we're noticing is with the spelling skills improving, this is really going to get them over the hump and help them to master specifically what letters are doing in certain types of words because they're starting to see different blends and they're starting to see more irregular vowel patterns and we want them to have all the core skills mastered so that when they approach those irregular words or those irregular vowel sounds they know what to do. So what I want to start with our first sort here for week 13 is look at the long, I, long A and short A and long I and short I sounds and have them do word sorts with these. So how it works is each of these sheets are separated into two parts. One is for the learning coach because it breaks down not only the cheat sheet, including the oddball, we're going to talk about that in a moment, but also explains what's going on here with these word sorts and what the focus is. Now down here, we're going to have students sort these words. Notice they're all mixed up because you're going to cut them out, learning coaches, and then we're going to have students sort them out for the first time uh, the way they think they should go. So they're going to use their own method of sorting these out, and then we're, we're going to talk about it. So the oddball category, so they're going to sort them in uh, short I, long I, and there's going to be an oddball. Notice the oddball is a sound that really doesn't fit. So if we have a word like give, that really doesn't fit because it has the magic key, but it's making a short I sound. So we want them to identify that yes, it's a, and more than likely the student's going to probably put that word in the short I category, even though we know that is an oddball word. So the first time around, we're going to have you cut these apart. And then they're going to be in categories like this. We're going to have the student just take the words and say, okay, we're going to put them in three categories. So you want to model for them the first time around how these are laid out. We'll zoom in on here so you can see. So with these words in these three, three categories, the students are going to have these all mixed up, and they're just going to start sorting them. Now with each word that they approach, we want you, we want you to have them read it out loud and then lay it down in its appropriate category. Because that's a really important part of the process is making sure that they're doing that. Now they're going to make mistakes, like they're going to put, for example, the word nine in the short I category. They're gonna make some of these mistakes and that's okay. Some of them they'll put in the right category. But what we want them to do is we wanna see their method. You know, why are they putting them in certain categories? What is their, um, what is their reasoning behind it? So they'll sort out all these words and then we'll begin to explore, again, their reasoning why in each category, and then give them corrective feedback, put it in the correct category, and ask them if there's any patterns that they see in each column. There might be some patterns, such as the magic E, and how it's making the vowel say its name. And if they are making any mistakes, for example, if we have paper clip, clip, it, it, and they have it in a long I, we can sound that out with them, paper clip, it, it, it. Clip, clip, eh, eh, I, I, kai, I, I, and they go, oh, and they identify that sound. So that'd be day one. And what we would do every other day is you can mix up spelling activities with them. I'm going to be attaching a spelling activities packet. It's going to give students the opportunity to practice these words at any time you see fit that's going to help them strengthen their spelling skills. I've provided two sorts so that on the first day they work with this sort here and on the second day they work with the other sort. 
Now, what I strongly recommend is that they, in between those days, the other days, because on days two and three, they're working with sorts, you would want them to use the spelling activity packet and actually work with these words in different ways. Pick some of the activities from that packet and have them practice, 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 because that's the only way they're going to get better and be able to make those connections, especially during their reading. So I hope this is really helpful for you guys. Really use these sorts, take advantage of it. There's tons of research on the success of this program. I'll be showing you some other uh, strategies that you can use with your student in the future. But I wanted to at least show you how to begin with these sorts and begin having students interact and manipulate these words in many different ways.